Jay a question about something else then. Arsenal played Bournemouth, guys. And everyone online was saying Arsenal got all the controversial decisions to go their it way. Oh my God. Everything went their way. It was, start, it was written in the stars. You guys basically uh, cheated Bournemouth. I, I, don't, I don't agree with that, but talk to well, me. Well, can I just say, the reason why Arsenal fans get this is because, not because you didn't deserve to win the game. You did. Based on the game, you were the better side. You deserved to win it. Plenty of chances. The issue is, is that you guys claim so much when Joe Linton scored against you for Newcastle that it was such a foul and it was unfair. Mm -hmm. When Spurs, when White backed into Vicario, you said it wasn't a foul. Yeah? When Kulu got clipped, you said the touch is too light. Okay, cool. Yeah? But on the flip side, when you get that level of contact with Rhea, you guys say it's fair enough. It's, it's a decent decision. Now, to me, that's an inconsistency of thinking when the level of contact is very well, we said the Newcastle one is a foul, and we said the Raya one is a foul. So where's the... No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that you, you guys are saying that this is a fair decision to cancel the goal. And no, a lot of, a lot of Arsenal fans said you were robbed. Against the with the Gabriel goal, most yeah, so the consistency fans, there. So no, I'm, I'm, Arsenal I'm fans confused. are saying that this. Arsenal fans are saying Arsenal fans who said that Gabriel was fouled against Newcastle, but also say Raya was fouled. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah. Sorry, yeah, so they were, okay, so they were both fouls, and the, so yeah. I, I'm basically, I'm basically, I'm basically saying and that both I goals should have been cancelled. One was and one wasn't. Well, well, I'm, I'm saying from an Arsenal point of view, you guys are looking at it that the decisions that go for you that are soft, thumbs up, the decisions that go against you or don't go against you, they're also fair decisions. Like the basically, long story short, Arsenal fans are hypocritical. I think we all yeah, know. Yeah, no, 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 one second, no, no, one second. But why, I just, like I just said, Ooh. we've said, like, as an Arsenal fan, right, we said yeah. the John Lynch one should have been disallowed because there was contact on, on whoever it was, on Gabriel, Ooh, yeah. right? The same thing happened to Raya. There was a, a slight push, but there was a push, and we said that should be disallowed. So where's the inconsistency from? Okay, so, so, so what about what about Havertz's goal against Tottenham? Bro, let's think, go. Let's go decision by decision, like which. You, okay, Havertz versus Tottenham. Goal, Havertz goal versus Tottenham should have been disallowed by the criteria of contact that you you guys are going by. Nah, Jay, it's not even that yet. It's not you. You don't need to do this oh, like specific specific. Bro, I'm just saying, go on. You, you, know is, Jay? you don't need to go through like granular like tackles. And my mm -hmm. problem is the Arsenal fan base when it goes against them are the loudest fan base when it comes to corruption. Oh, yeah. The refs don't like us. Everyone doesn't want us to win the league. Yeah. It's all against us. All or nothing. We're on our own. When it goes for you, the but complete chess. hold but that. Nah, you know what? More. Is where it is. You know, that's that's it's not every fan base. No, but no, 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 it's not because because we we all do it. We're all hypocritical. We all favour our own fan base. We all look at our own decisions with rose tinted spectacles and look at other ones in the worst possible light. It happens, and it's understandable. I'll argue against that though. I'll tell you the logical reason why I'd argue against that though. Logical. When you're higher in the table, there's higher stakes, higher opportunity cost to losing games. So when a wrong decision happens to us, we might moan about it. People say you still play crap. When it happens to you. Oh, you bottled the league. Happens to Jay, you're falling off a cliff. If it happens to Arsenal, because they're in a title race and it's minuscule point differences, those big decisions become even bigger. That's the difference. So naturally, you're going to hear it louder. Does that make sense? Oh, so no, the reason I'm saying that... So, so, okay. So, 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 like, so, no, but, no, but then you're saying it's not... Because, the logic no, no, you're right, by the way. If this was Chelsea next season, yeah. we're, we're third. You probably hear what was like. So what decision was wrong? <laughs> what decision did you think was wrong? The penalty or the disallowed goal? Oh, you're talking about specifically this game? Yeah. Um, I think the, pe the penalty is the penalty, isn't it? That, that one is a bit more, he played for it, but it's not It's not a bad decision. The this, foul, this, the... this is the wrong decision. They didn't give a red card. This is a red card. Oh, like, still images don't paint me a picture. No, like, bro, he studs up, up on his shin. Yeah. Studs up on his shin. The pictures don't show me everything, though. Mm. That's the problem. I need to see but, the video. Uh, but, but, but you know the incident, right? You've seen the incident. 
yeah, the instinct is 50. Like, they've given some are given, some aren't. But in this game, yeah, you're right. Probably you deserve to win the game. But like, this whole like what Rack's saying, I agree with him. But the noise is louder when you're top of the league. That's just how it works. Fair so enough. I'm not wrong. But then I think it's, then it's not really an Arsenal thing, right? It's just, it's a stakes thing. Then, then I don't yeah. think, I think you can say it's, it's, it's coming from Arsenal, so it's loud. But if it's because they're top of the league or because they're second, they're fighting for the championship every every um, decision yeah, yeah, That's yeah. that's that's really the the rationale behind it. If that's where you come, that's from. that's true. I, I was yeah. I was really impressed with our performance. It's just unfortunate that all the controversial decisions take away from the performance because it was a really good performance from our team. It's just these controversial decisions maybe almost spoil the game for. For, for me, because a lot of rivals, when they when they speak about it, they just speak about it as if this is what made us win the game. But in actual reality, we had 16 shots in that first half. We should have buried them, 4-5-0. No. This is why the I can't say we need to try that to work, work, work. Right. Up and with us, we City had 20 shots. We scored five goals. But all anyone's ever talked about is the two penalties. Like, the two penalties yeah. were going to make a damn difference. Uh, yeah, why listen, care? we're going to be straight here. All three were penalties. All three were penalties. To the letter of the law, they were all penalties. They right. might be soft, but they're penalties. They're still penalties. There is I'm nothing saying. in the law about the forcefulness of the, of the tackle. I don't know where this has come from about the, oh, he's gone down too soft. Show me the law. It's rule 14 of the FA law. Show me where it mentioned. It doesn't even mention the ball in the rule. It mentions the stopping or um, what was the exact wording of it? It's about infringement on the player. Not, pe people are getting too lost in this. Oh, back, back 20 years ago, that wasn't a penalty. We're not playing 20 years ago anymore. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why this all keeps coming into these. All three were penalties. But, but there's no measurement of how soft and how hard a tackle is now. To a penalty decision, you all three were penalties. End of. It's, it's, it's a mixture of tribalism and just wanting your opponent yeah. to lose. That's no, but this why, I, this why I, don't, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why you care. I don't know why you care about whether rivals think like, <laughs> oh, they're they're, they're going to come out and we're going to. It's our job to come out here yeah. and be salty about you. Right. This is it. <laughs> well, the reality is right. They know they can't banter us because we're not shit. So exactly. what can they do? They they have they have to banner us somewhere. They have to try and tarnish the, the, the win somehow. And the only way they can do it is refereeing decision that that take it as a compliment. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's but what rivals had, do. Yeah, we had, it. Do. We, we, we had it. We had we had it. Well, the year we won the league, first of all, we won it. Oh, it's the COVID league, right? Despite despite the fact that we were almost, look, I think we're three or four points. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. yeah. The following season, they called it the worst title defense in the history of football, or something like. But rifles do that. I don't. You shouldn't get too caught up in it. Like these things happen all the time. I don't. I, I don't. Bro, City, City yeah. get it. City get it because they're one one. For, City get it because they're one one five and Abu Dhabi. Chelsea win the Champions so League. Just, said it was the worst Champions League win ever. They do this oh, all the time. Okay. Hey, exactly. no, but don't forget. Hang on, it's a farmer's league. I have this the other day. Yeah, I, yeah, you yeah. know what Hussam's <laughs> like and others. It's a farmer's league because City won six out of seven. Well, United won eight out of the first 11 Premier Leagues. I didn't hear anyone calling that a farmer's league back then. But It's the, just a rivalry that, situation. That terminology didn't exist back then. But you know what? We got to talk about... We talk about a lot of stuff. There's not enough time to get into all the granular details. If you guys want to hear more about the Arsenal video, I did do a full match reaction on my channel, uh, so please do check that out. Declan Rice had a masterclass. Bakayo Saka also contributed with a penalty. Kai Havertz won the penalty. I thought Trussard has been clinical this season. He scored a beautiful goal, and I just don't think we have enough time to touch on everything Arsenal. So you can check out me and Souls' opinion on this. Uh, sorry, Souls wasn't actually on the match reaction, but we're going to be doing a, a show tomorrow. <laughs> show. You we're forgot gonna do a <laughs> we're going to do an Arsenal show tomorrow. And, and Souls, I'm going to get you on that, hopefully. Yes. But yeah, did you have anything else to say quickly on the Arsenal game before we move on? No, we just got to keep the pressure on City and that's it, really. That ties up the City and the Arsenal bit. Here. You know, Liverpool are kind of out of it, unfortunately, because we have we both have to lose all our game, which is probably not going to happen. I can see maybe losing one game, but not both. So I don't think anyone's going to lose a game at this no, point. No, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying that worst I case, draw, yeah, lose that's... one. I don't see us losing all of them. Yeah. Um, okay, so Jay looks very down. 
And the reason why he's probably really down and out is because his team has been losing a lot. And mm -hmm. Rack is smiling because his team just cruised past. Thank you for watching. This has been Eagles Hawks Football. If you enjoyed that video, please do make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button. Check out these next two videos right here on each side of me. And of course, you can subscribe right there. Have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day, night, evening, whatever time it is for you that you're watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Peace.